Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. We are going to look at your 1111 message. So let's see. This is more of a prediction. Let's see. We have magnetic attraction. Signs and synchronicities. Finances. Liquid courage. So if you're manifesting improvement in your finances, I see that coming. But you also have someone who's very attracted to you. Let's see. What's the 1111 11 message? Okay. You're attracting somebody here, whether you're trying to or not. Because <laughs> we got put in work, Aaliyah, try again vibes. We've got natural beauty, everything else is a plus, round the way girl, stylish, starstruck, show stopper, lover, and friend. We have spiritual cleanse and karmic lessons. So you may want to cleanse spiritually to help bring in your manifestations. What's the 1111 message for the collective? What is the message? fortune okay oh my gosh you are manifesting money and love that's what's coming through for you some of you there's no longer a wait you may be already seeing things starting to come through for you if not then soon because these are really good cards except for this king of swords at the end <laughs> I see a lot of you are not going to be single for long if you are single. There is a connection coming. You're even getting offers from people you don't even want. Or maybe ex, an ex that you don't want anymore, but they're like on your case. But you're definitely going to be with someone. Why the Four of Cups? Five of Cups. I just saw the Six of Cups in reverse. So someone is, yeah, and then the Page of Cups in reverse. There is someone stuck on you. They may start trying to reach out. It could That could be what this Liquid Courage card is about. They could start trying to reach out to you, like, desperately. Because I see that they miss you. Why the Will of Fortune? Karmic Justice. Some of you are getting good karma. You definitely surrender into the universe. I feel like you've learned a lot of karmic lessons here. And you're definitely going to be reaping everything owed to you. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So again, the wait is over. There is a lot of financial abundance. Look at this. If you are manifesting an increase in your finances on this day, then it's coming through. For sure. Ace of Pentacles as well. We got the Three of Swords. Why the Three of Swords? Some of you, it could be from a divorce. Some of you could be getting a lot from a divorce. After being heartbroken, um, you end up getting a lot out of a divorce, a lot of financial abundance, possibly. But there is some kind of heartbroken ex here. They're watching you as well. Clarify this two of cups, please. star clarify the star your days are going to be happy if you spent a lot of time crying or just being in your head being stressed that's coming to an end 
someone's coming in to bring in a lot of light into your life why the star could be an aquarius a libra I, yeah i see someone who was hesitating in the past to reach out to you like coming towards you this doesn't have to be the person that you want to be with but it's just it's kind of like just an extra added thing that someone's trying to get back with you why the nine of pentacles in reverse i'm telling you this is nine of cups you got more than one person coming in with an offer one could be new one could be someone from the past who's definitely in their feelings i don't know who you choose but you're gonna be with somebody or you are with somebody but you're there's this huge energy of you being off the market why the king of swords in reverse Um, why did I say off the market? That sounds so bad. I don't like that, but that's how it came out. That's how it came through. No longer available to others is what I'm seeing, but there is some hate here. Okay. I don't know why this always comes through in the collective. It's always a little bit of hate, but this is narcissistic energy. And with the sun in reverse, it's like somebody doesn't like the fact that they are not shining as bright as you. So I don't know if this person is going to take action towards you with the four of swords in reverse, but they're very negative. So let me see the main spread. Let's see what else is going on. The 11 11 message for the collective what is the message for the collective queen of swords okay Definitely protected by someone here with the Queen of Swords is what I feel. Four of Cups again. We're dealing with the Scorpio. Someone's taking action to you, towards you, serious action with the Emperor. It could be an Aries for some of you. Oh my gosh, when it comes to love and finances, you are manifesting it. Do not think that your manifestation is not coming, okay? Why the page of cups? Not page of cups, sorry. Why the page of pentacles? You're working really hard. In your whatever field you're in with the queen of wands it is paying off magician in reverse though someone thinks you are manipulating your situation in some way why the four of cups someone feels like you're rejecting them they could be telling their friends about this or trying to get advice about how to not get rejected by you anymore. Someone feels like you're not responding to them or not reaching out to them. This could be the person that you're not interested in. Could be an interest is elsewhere. Why the four of swords? Someone's trying to focus on their work to distract themselves from a breakup that happened between you two. 
this could be the same person asking why you know they're not getting a response or that you're not reaching out why you're not reaching out why the eight of wands in reverse Could be a Virgo for some of you. It's like someone's fed up with not hearing from you. Someone's someone's getting frustrated with not hearing from you. They might come forward, is what I'm seeing, but they're trying not to. Why the page of cups in reverse, especially if you've already ignored them. Oh my gosh, someone feels this. Why is this happening? There's like a strong X energy coming through out of nowhere, which it was coming through earlier, but there were other messages. Now it's just them. So their fear is that the relationship is completely over and they are showing up as the Empress. So it looks like it's them who's coming towards you. Like it's them who's going to make this next move with this Emperor. Clarify the Emperor card, please. Yeah, they've been waiting for you to reach out and they've been stuck on the past with you and they're trying to heal their broken heart here they're very much attracted to you could be a long-term ex or someone you dealt with short term but whoever this is they are it's like they're trying to focus on work but they keep ruminating on you why you're not reaching out or why you didn't answer something like that Clarify the Five of Cups, please. They may feel like they lost you to someone else. They're feeling jealous. For some of you, they took too long to come forward. They're also trying to work on their financial situation. They could be feeling really bad about themselves, like really low. Clarify the put in work card, please. This could be someone who was still entertaining an ex in the past, or they had another option in the past. They could be trying to focus only on you now, which they would have to convince you that if that's true, they would have to convince you that that's the truth. Because there's a third party energy here, but it's no long like they're no longer given to another person so they could have been in the past that could be why you don't want to speak to them or something but they're wanting to put in work why the six of cups I feel like you have people wrapped around your finger like past people or a past person especially this is telling you that what you need to know is that somebody from your past someone who may have acted like they didn't care king of swords energy is going to really be making the efforts like taking action could be a leo for some of you why the knight of cups in reverse They're, I don't know what they're jealous about, but they seem real jealous. I don't know if they're making up scenarios in their head. It's very possible. It's a lot of swords here. There's a lot going on in their mind about you. They could be imagining you with other people. But they're trying to get... They got this three of swords. They're, they're healing their heart. And King of Cups. Ace of Swords. Okay, so this person... They are actually trying to heal. They're trying to do better. I feel like they're trying to work on how to communicate their feelings. But they feel real jealous about something. I don't know if you have a new person or you've been hanging out with new people, but they seem to be very in their head about you and other people. But they're coming towards you as an emperor. Let's see what else comes out. What's the 1111 message for the collective?
shocking turmoil trouble unexpected beauty charming graceful kind-hearted escape chasing thrills excitement good times Soulmates, deep love, unity, connection, and chasing, pursuit, toxic, toxicity, resilience. They might start chasing you because I see them taking a lot of action, whoever this is. Whether it was short term or you guys have been, you guys had a long relationship, whatever it is. What's the 1111 message for the collective? Twin flame, two bodies, one soul. Boundaries, protect your energy. Sorry, protect, protecting your energy is self-care. Tough love. Revenge, settling the score, clingy, let go already. And lurker, spying. So someone hasn't let go of you. You could be protecting your energy from this person if they're more on the negative side. Why is revenge here? Oh my gosh. Why is revenge here? Hmm. Okay, sorry about that. So, Nine of Cups in reverse. This is someone is trying to settle some kind of score with you. It could be someone trying to compete, someone who feels like you owe them something. Who is this? Careful of anyone you um, didn't respond to. Hold on. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. Careful of anyone from the past. It doesn't have to be an ex. It could be if they are that negative or that toxic. This could be a long time ex. This doesn't feel like the one that this reading is talking about. For some of you, it could be. I don't think so because they don't look that negative. This could even be an ex friend. Maybe you dealt with someone they dealt with or something like that and they haven't let it go. Clarify the clinging card. I don't know if you dealt with someone in the past who's either you, either it's someone your friend dealt with or it's someone who feels, maybe you just don't know this person, but they feel like you took their person away at the time or something. Someone maybe trying to settle some kind of score here, not letting go of what happened in the past. Maybe you dealt with a player who was juggling the both of you and it wasn't your fault, but this person blames you. I don't know, but there's something strange here. Who is this? The moon. Why are they hiding their identity? The lovers. It's something about... This has to be someone you dated. It's like someone feels like you took their person away. This could be like 10 years ago. This could be way back in the past. Whoever this is, they hold on to things and they want to settle some type of score. So be careful of anyone who tries to speak to you who you knew a long time ago. Maybe you dated their ex or something. 
That's very childish of them to be coming back. But anyway, let me see what else is going on. What are the messages? The 1111 message. New love, a new person, unknown person. Business, success, achievement, comic story, toxic. Sorry, comma, toxic story, new opportunity. Union, serious relationship, marriage, partnership. We've got Pisces, Gemini here, and Libra. You definitely, there's definitely a choice between new love and past love because I see a past person wanting to put in work all of a sudden. They could be someone you dealt with short term or long term let me see if you still miss me some people never change yeah whoever that is that person from the past if someone better if someone is unhappy yes someone feels like you took something from them in the past and they they're still better they never change If it's an ex, they haven't changed. That's not to say some of you don't have a ex who is working on themselves. Cause I see, I see a past person who is working on themselves, but I also see like, like an old friend or someone who's still upset about something that happened in the past, trying to come forward. Um, hmm. What does this person has to say that misses them? What's their message? The person that is in their feelings wanting to come back. I don't understand what this connection really is. This could be, I really hurt myself by letting you go. Hold on. Okay, I think you are better off without me. I hide my true desires for you. I still love you and can't stop thinking about you. So I feel like for some, with I don't understand what this connection really is. This could be someone you dealt with short term and they don't understand why they're in love already. I think this came up before. They have some self doubt here. They have strong desires for you, but they're doubting themselves. They think you're better off without them, but they also desire you. Why is this? King of Cups. Oh, it may be because you are like this Nine of Pentacles. This person could be, like I said, like very loving. Has a lot of love to give, but they may feel like you have it all already. Or maybe you get a lot of attention. I don't feel like they are very like insecure. They just have a kind of a humble way. Like, why would you want me when you're like everyone else's cup of tea? But they are the king of cups. So male or female, they have good intentions. They just have a little bit of self-doubt like kind of like healthy self-doubt they just feel like you're maybe out of this world type of type of attractive so they're hiding their desire um what's the 11 11 message deepening a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months you have been waiting for this Oh my gosh you could be connecting with someone that was something that didn't get off the ground that much so it could be the same person or somebody it could be a new person with new love but it does feel like something that wasn't so deep in the past is going to get deeper because someone is doing some inner work like this person is we have gratitude you need to be grateful for the love you for the love already present in your life to attract more of it 
deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. They are hiding their desires. We have take a leap of faith. Only when you are willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards. Why do I feel like that has to do with your finances, your work? Clarify deception, please. You, you are deceptive. I'm just joking. If you have another option, some of you may be hiding that. But it could be them. Maybe they had another option. Like I said earlier, somebody in the past was entertaining someone else, could have been entertaining someone else, but they don't want to anymore. They're in reverse. This could have pushed you, kind of made you distance yourself from this person because you may have picked up on this, decided not to have anything to do with it. But I feel like they've, whoever they had, they're no longer dealing with that. I feel like for some of you, this person tries, <laughs> they try to not desire you, come towards you, but they're still doing it. It's kind of weird. Not weird, but like, it's like they're like, nah, I don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to go for that. It's, she's, he or she is too good for me, but they're still coming towards you is what I feel like. I feel them still drawing near to you. Maybe it's in the form of them still watching your story, still looking at your pages, looking you up. It's like they're saying one thing to themselves, but doing another thing. Maybe friends are encouraging them to come towards you. There could be a soulmate connection here. It does say deep in. I do feel like a connection from your past. And this is not if you were dealing with a narcissist. This is if you were dealing with someone who was quite healthy, but maybe they would just still had something attached to them from the past, an ex. Maybe this is the same ex who wants to settle the score with you or get revenge. I don't know. But it's like it was the wrong time back then. And it, I, I just get this feeling of this person being afraid to... to be with you they feel like you're too good but they can't help but come towards you they can't help but ignore the other person you know let them go and still drift towards you and i don't i don't really know how to <laughs> how to explain it like the way i'm feeling it but they feel a pull So they tried to, maybe maybe they met you, they were just so attracted to you. And they tried to hide their ex, their past person that they were still kind of ending things with. And then they just couldn't not entertain you. You may have picked up on a third party and decided I'm not interested anymore. But they're still interested. This is not the first time it's come up. But I'm really like, what is with this revenge thing? Their ex could be very clingy towards them and trying to, you know, maybe the ex is looking you up. This is also not the first time this part has come up either. If they left someone behind for you, that person is trying to figure out what you have that they don't. They're trying to look you up and figure out, you know, why their person is coming towards you but it's not their person anymore there's a situation going on here but this part you got this their their next move is the emperor to like do everything right by you no matter what their past person thinks it's like they're even going against themselves because it's like they're, they're telling themselves you're too good for them. But they're still talking about you to friends, getting advice. Maybe you just manifest in love and it just came in this form. I don't know. But definitely when it comes to your finances, 
you definitely like that's definitely unlocked for you with the finances and that ten of pentacles that came out earlier so definitely just stay focused on work because if this is your love situation it's really sorting itself out if there was someone else in the picture like an ex clinging to this person that's being moved out the way <laughs> in a very strange just kind of automatic way okay let me see even if it's like an ex of yours who was dealing with someone else but then you decided to manifest them a lot of you have manifested someone who still had something attached to them and that's just being removed at the moment and then they're coming towards you heart to heart conversations they may start being honest now you guys could be a family, you have friends to lovers. You could start off as friends. Maybe you friend zone them because they tried to be sneaky. We got blooming. This this person is changing for you. I don't know how else, how else to put it. Because it's not the first time it's come up. But just be careful of past person of theirs or an ex-friend of yours because there's something going on someone feels like you took their person took something from them and they will try to come towards you in some way befriend you maybe to get close to you so just be careful this is what i'm seeing this could be a pisces or gemini aries yeah basically your manifestations are coming especially if you like really went over them today on 11 11 okay let's see virgo taurus scorpio Those are, yeah, those are the main signs and Capricorn. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.